Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Tuesday, April 9, 2024. I hope we are doing well this morning and I, I pray that you will continue to keep strong. I pray that the Holy Spirit will comfort you and give you peace. And remember that without God, that your strength is not enough to overcome the struggles of today. But nevertheless, push forward knowing that God will be there to help you through whatever it is you may face. Our reading today comes to us from Colossians chapter 3 and we will read from verse 1 to 10. And it says, If ye then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. Set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth. For ye are dead, and your life is it with Christ in God. When Christ, who is our life, shall appear, then shall ye also appear with him in glory. Mortify therefore your members which are upon the earth, fornication, uncleanness, inordinate affection, evil concupiscence, and covetousness, which is idolatry. For which things sake the wrath of God cometh on the children of disobedience, in which, in the which ye also walk sometimes when ye live. But now ye also put off all these, anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy communication out of your mouth. Lie not one to another, seeing that ye have put off the old man with his deeds, and have put on the new man, which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him. Amen. We give God thanks this morning for his words one more time always refreshing to hear the word of God and as we look at this morning reading we see here where Paul encourages believers to set their minds on things above he speaks that they should put their minds on things above because that's where Christ is seated at the right hand of God he also urged that they should focus on heavenly things rather than focusing on earthly things. So be more heavenly minded and less earthly minded in a manner of speaking. Okay? Now Paul emphasizes that believers, we are dead to the world or we are dead to sin. In other words, when you have given your heart to Christ. The Bible said that we are crucified with Christ. Therefore, we no longer live but Christ who is now living in us. So the old man is put off. The old man is dead. And now we are risen. A new man, a new woman, a new person in Christ. Because his righteousness now covers us. And now we walk in newness of life. And I say amen to that. So we should seek to live a new life. Characterized by putting to death earthly desires and sexual immoralities. Now desires of the flesh. And the scripture went on to listen a few of them. We have the desire of greed. Right? We have idolatry. We have malice. We have anger, we have rage, slander, filthy communication or filthy language. All of these things, we should kill them. In fact, they are dead with the old man because remember, this is who you were. But now that you have turned your life around, now that you have been risen, a new person, these things shouldn't be still emanating from you. So you shouldn't be still keeping malice. You shouldn't be communicating filthy language, cussing out people, 
right? You shouldn't have in these evil desires to do things that are ungodly and unchristlike. Because what? Now you are walking in the light and in the righteousness of Christ. I hope we are understanding. So, instead, we are to clothe ourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. So, we need to have the fruits of the Spirit. So, those things that I listed earlier, they speak to the flesh. And these now speak to the Spirit. So we need to be obedient to the will of the Spirit, having the fuel, the fruits of the Spirit, as Galatians says. Okay? So Paul emphasized the importance of forgiving one another. How many of us like to forgive? Some of us, we don't like to forgive, you know, I don't know why. It's like we find it a struggle to forgive, and not because we can't forgive, but because we don't want to forgive or something to that effect but we must learn to forgive others because the truth is that we have offended god on more than one occasions and god forgive us of our sins and if we are walking a new man a new woman then we also need to forgive those who are against us and those who have offended us we mustn't be hesitant Right? I know the flesh makes us hesitant sometimes to forgive. But as I said, let us be obedient to the Spirit. Be quick to forgive. Ask the Holy Spirit, help me, Lord. You know how I feel about this situation. But I know I got to be like you. And I want to be like you. And so, take away this desire not to forgive. And give me the desire to forgive. Amen? So, transformation must be evident in our life when we give our heart to christ and we need to have love in our heart toward each other and we need to bond together in harmony because we are all a part of the same family the same body of christ and when you think about the structure of the body the hand can't do what he it wants to do it has to operate in conjunction with the rest of the body so it has to work together with the brain even though it is just a hand and the brain has to work together with the foot even though it is just a brain so none of your body parts can operate individually of themselves if you cut off your finger right now what happened to the finger it dead because it's not connected to a life force anymore do you understand? So if we are cut off from Christ, it means therefore that we are in darkness. We are dead. So, may we find solace. May we find encouragement. May we get wisdom from this reading this morning that we can use to help us in our day-to-day -day growth so that we can truly represent the character of Christ in our daily lives. Amen. May God continue to bless you and I, and may we continue to be faithful until Jesus come. Amen. Have a wonderful day, my friends.